Hello everyone, this is me Kushi and in today's video I will be sharing the next project of Java which is the binary converter project. So today what we have to do, let me tell you that really quick. So yeah, the binary numeric system uses only two digits which is 0 and 1 to operate the calculations and to store the data. So we need today what we have to do is we have to convert integer numbers to the binary representation. For that, we have to create a converter class with a static two binary method which returns a binary version of its arguments. Here arguments means the input taken by the computer. The code in main takes a number as an input and calls the corresponding static method which is the binary method and makes sure and makes sure that the work it works as expected. So a part of the code is already done for us. Let me explain you that. Yeah. So this is what we have to paste over here. But before that, let me just remove all this part. Yeah. Because there mustn't be any sort of cheating. Yeah. And yeah guys, so string binary will be equal to empty quotations. Empty quotations always represent the input of the computer. And the next thing, while number is greater than zero. The number, the input of the computer should always be greater than zero because if it is zero, the value will be nothing and there will be no binary conversion of it. So then binary will be equal to number modulo 2 plus binary. What modulo does is gives you the remainder when two things are divided. And the next thing is number is divided or equal to 2. So that was a quick uh, idea of what we're going to do today. Now let us start. Okay, I said we have to create a public class converter. Usually make a public class, usually we make a public class program, but today we're gonna do a public class converter. So public class Okay, we have mistaken again and then will be converter that is it now let's open the curly braces and go down now another thing which is told to us we have to create it with a static binary method static to binary method so let's do that so public static string Instead of void, we are using string right here. And the next thing is the method name, which is to binary. In the brackets, we're going to write int num. Int num is a short form for integer number. Yeah, because that is our input. So that's the reason why we're going to use integer number. Now let's open another curly brace. And it is the time to paste this part over here. So let me paste this part over here. Okay, let me paste, uh, you know, let me select this thing. Okay, now let's give the required indentations so that there is, so if you don't know what indentations are, they are the spaces which are required and it also makes the code look more prettier more better okay now is the last step which is to return to stop the execution of the binary method okay what return does is it stops the execution of anything which is executing currently or whatever is written in front of it 
Now let's run the code and see whether it works or not. So I guess the code has worked perfectly. Let me tell you the test cases. So the input was 7 on the expected and our output which is triple 1 matches it. Now, now it's time for test case 2. The input was 114 and the output was triple 1 double 0 1 0 which matches the expected expected output and yeah guys that's all for today's video if you like the video just like share subscribe and also press the subscribe button and yeah press the notification bell right there so that you're always notified with our videos you don't have to search for our videos but we will come to you and the videos will be right there you can watch it on hand and yeah, there is another thing which i want to tell is my instagram id is also linked in the description box and the ID is also placed right on the screen so you can just follow me right there for further updates when the video is coming and other such things so yeah guys let's meet next time on my channel Kushi Oza bye